So let's look at the technicalities of how you actually run. So we've got a collection of uh, weapons here, Russ. Absolutely, yeah. So what we've got is we've got the Remington shotgun, we've got the M4 assault rifle, the AK-74 assault rifle, and the SIG pistol. Now, all of these weapons systems use different types of ammunition, which have a different effect, that, uh, as well as the fact that each weapon system has a different range. And it's very important for the viewer to understand that a different weapon system will give a different range, have a different effect, and therefore, you need to take a different action. So what we need to do is explain to people that there are actually, it is actually very difficult for a terrorist or an active shooter to be accurate when the situation gets going. Psychology is always a factor. Stress is a major factor when it comes to this type of attack. So uh, we're going to go through that in more detail later on in the series, but for now we're just going to discuss and look at the, the, the issue of the range of the weapons versus uh, how you should move in more detail. So keep watching for the next section. The easiest thing to remember, in, 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 in short, the only thing you need to remember is that you've got long weapons and you've got short weapons. Long yeah. weapons have a long range, short weapons have a short range. Short weapons, like the SIG pistol, are designed and used in, in, in close confines, in buildings, um, in uh, indoors. Whereas the larger weapons, the longer weapons, I should say, um, have that greater range and are much more effective when they're outside. Okay, so what we're going to do is look at how these ranges of the weapons affect uh, the way you run and the way that you move or your ability to move against that. And it's essential because sometimes when you see films, you'll see some silly ideas where people are running in straight lines or what have you. So we're going to discuss that. Keep watching the next section. So we've spoken about the different weapon systems. Uh, what does that, and in terms of ranges and, and uh, so on, what does that actually mean for the victim on how they're going to survive? At this distance, it's very easy for me to hit him when he's stationary. However, if he starts moving left or right, even still remaining at five meters, it's much, much more difficult for me to hit him. And what that does, that gives the viewer the information to demonstrate how they can increase their chances of surviving, even just at a short five metre distance like so this. So that can make a difference, ultimately, really. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so you've shown us uh, the difference with the pistol. How does it vary with the rifle? Okay, so as I said, the rifles are longer weapon systems, which means they've got a greater range. What that means is in, in small spaces, it's more difficult to move them around, yeah. but actually on an open space, they're more accurate. So it means that in order to increase your chance of survival, you've got to be, generally speaking, you've got to be further away. But you, the key to remember is you've still got to move. If you're running away, you've still got to move. It, it, uh, diagonally, horizontally, and the more you can do that, the more, the more difficult it is for the active shooter, and the more you increase your chance of survival. But let's take it a stage further. What happens if you can't run? Then essentially you need to hide. So the next video that we're going to be going through in this series is looking at how and where you should hide. So keep watching. <laughs> 